to me at least the big question is FE, which is basically abiogenesis. How hard is it for life to originate on a planet? Because all the other ones seem very likely. Everything seems very likely. The only open question to me yeah. is just like, how hard is it for life to originate? There's lots of ways to, again, you know, we don't know unless we look. And, the, you know, you had Sarah Walker on not too long ago. You know, she's very interested in origins of life. Um, uh, so, you know, lots of people are working on this. But I think it's it's hard looking at the history of the Earth. You know, and again, this is, you can do Bayesian arguments on this. Um, but yeah, it's forming life. I don't think it's hard getting getting like basic biology started. I don't think is hard. It's still wild. It's an amazing process that actually I think requires some deep rethinking about how we conceptualize what life is and what life isn't. That's one of the things I like about Sarah's work. Um, we're, we're pursuing on a different level uh, about the life as that on, the only process or the only system that uses information. Um, but still, regardless of all those kinds of details. Uh, life is probably easy to make. That's, that's my, that's my gut feeling. It's, you know. Yeah. I mean, day by day, this changes for me, but I, I just see that once you create bacteria, it's, it's, it's off to the races. Yeah. Like you're going to get complex life. Yeah. As long as you have enough time, I mean, that boring billion and, but I just can't imagine a habitable planet not having a couple of billion to spare. Yeah, a couple of years. Of years to spare. You know, there is a mystery there about why did it take so long, like with the Cambrian explosion, but that may be, again, about these windows, that like it couldn't happen until until the window, the planet and the, the uh, life had evolved together enough that they together kind of opened the window for the, the next step. Um, you know, intelligent life and how long intelligent, you know, civil, technological civilizations, I think there's a big question about how long those last and how, you know, I'm hopeful, you know, um, but uh, but in terms of just like, I think life is absolutely going to be common in the, you know, pretty common in the universe. Yeah, I think it's absolutely, like, I, th I think, uh, again, if I were to bet everything, uh, e even in advanced civilizations are common. So the, to me then, the, the only explanation is the L. Our galaxy is a graveyard of civilizations. 